So for those of you who don't know, Apple actually makes a Nike version of their Apple Watches. I think probably most people know this, but some people may not know there are some actual slight differences between a Nike Apple Watch that they make and the standard Apple Watches that they also make in the same series. Now, what's funny is, is that there's not really like a crazy amount of differences, but there are some slight ones for sure. So let's go and talk about it. Now, the first thing I would tell you is that if you don't really even care about Nike or if you don't care about running or anything like that, the standard Apple Watch is probably the one I'd recommend a majority of people to buy. It's typically the one that is just the easiest one to pick up. And compared to the Nike version of the Apple Watches, you're probably better off just purchasing the standard one just because it is just kind of easier to, not easier to buy, but it's probably the one that's kind of the one that's probably easier for everyone to kind of own. So just go ahead and buy that one. But with the Nike version, there are a few features added within the specific Apple Watch, which is actually quite nice. So first of all, with the exterior of both these Apple Watches, they are almost identically the same on the outside, but on the back of these Apple Watches, you do actually get the Nike logo on the back of that Apple Watch. Whereas on the standard one, you just get that standard, you know, Apple logo, the standard information from the side. So there's not really anything different there. You're basically getting the same exact type of experience and the software is pretty much the same. Everything is identically the same between these watches. There's really nothing that's crazy. Like one is not faster or better or going to be giving you better battery life from one watch to the other on the same standard Apple watch versus the, you know, Nike version of that Apple watch. They're going to be basically the exact same experience as far as I can tell. There are slight differences though. So for one, you are actually getting the ability of automatically getting a nicer band. So you can choose one of the newer Nike bands that they have, and they're actually quite nice. You know, they have the standard like Milanese loop ones. They have the rubber ones. They have like the Velcro ones that I personally like using a lot. And those are actually really nice. Once again, having that type of capability of just like throwing a band on and kind of moving on with your life is actually super nice. And within these watches, it is actually a really, really nice touch. So I think that's a really cool thing that we have going on with these watches. Now, another thing is, is that we do have with the Nike ones, we have a new Nike watch face. So there are specific watch faces that are made for these Apple watches by Nike. You can't really use them unless you have the Nike's version of those watches, which can be kind of annoying because if you don't have them, then you're missing out. But they're, they are actually pretty nice you know, watch faces. I'm not going to lie some of them. So it's a really nice touch that you have with the, these ones too. So that's another really cool thing going on with these watches. On top of that, you do get the Nike Run Club app on your phone. So it kind of tailors in really nicely with those. And those are pretty much the main differences as far as I can tell. Now, what are the similarities? Basically everything else. Every other thing between these watches are, like I said, almost identically the same. You are not really going to be getting one watch over the other because of the features one has besides the watch faces. They're basically identically the exact same watch. So if you can do something on one watch, you can almost probably do it on the other one as well. And I would err on the side of these watches being way more similar, like 98.9% .9 similar than them being super different. And honestly, you can always just buy the bands. Like if you like the bands a lot, you can always just buy the Nike band separate and you can just purchase them from there. Like that's another thing you can do as well. So in terms of that, those are pretty much the main differences between these watches. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.